Howdy y'all, Fuzzy Biker here at Baxter Cycle and the Mighty Minitropolis of Marnie, Iowa at the Royal Enfield Building section. Look what they got laid out for us today. This is actually a video of opportunity. Uh, somebody just bought this bike. They're gonna haul it away in about 10 minutes. So I thought I'd get a, a quick look at it. It is a Royal Enfield Super Meteor 650 in Astral Blue. Isn't that just a gorgeous machine? They've done a couple of add-ons to it and uh, we'll talk about that, but let's just kind of get a look at this thing real quick. They've got a single bag on one side. Just a beautiful thing. Time machine. They've added uh, end mirrors. Trip machine uh, tape on the grips. Looks like a GV windscreen. Did I already say end mirrors? Lots of neat goodies there. Very nice, very nice. Beautiful machine, beautiful machine. So 648 cc, parallel twin, air and oil cooled. Four valves per cylinder. Um, it's got that 270 degree crank, so you get the nice wop wop sound. Forward controls on the bike. Oh, it's got a six speed transmission. I haven't got a lot of time on these yet, but we're gonna solve that. I'm gonna ride one uh, tomorrow about 100 miles. I'm assuming it's like the interceptor is very smooth. I've ridden about a dozen miles on these so far, I guess. So um, it's got the mag wheels or the alloy wheels as, as they're called nowadays. 320 millimeter disc on the front. Inverted forks, by the way. Two piston calipers, Bybury. Inverted forks, I think it's uh, 4.7 inches, 119 millimeters of travel, and the forks are 43 millimeters. I love the fact that they're protected. You know, these, these things here protect the uh, show part of the fork. All LED headlight, all LED taillight. I like the way this looks, this line here. You know, with the uh, bar and mirrors and this uh, windshield, they're all kind of the same line. I don't know if y'all can get that in the video, but uh, very nicely done, very nicely done. Look at that, look at that badge. Isn't that just beautiful? Just a gorgeous, get my shadow out of the way here. Just a gorgeous thing, isn't it? I love that. Now on the Astrals, this is a, kind of a silverish color. On the other uh, Celestial and the other model, they're uh, kind of a gold, I think. You know, something else I want to point out real quick. This is a metal cover over the uh, oil guard, kind of a frame, you know, very nicely done. Everything's metal, the fenders, the tank, the side covers. You know, they've just done a great job. Just done a great job. Uh, 300 millimeter disc on the back. And that also, we can't really see it, but that also has a two piston oh. Vibri caliper on it. So that's uh, pretty impressive. I think there's four inches of travel on the back. That's uh, 109 millimeters. Looks like a 19 inch sea out on the front. 190, 19 on the front. Let's see if we can spot the rear. I can't remember what, I think the rear was a 150, but I'm not sure. Well, I can't see it, but uh, it's a pretty big tire. Let me check that out. I love the rear end. I love the tail light. Just so well done. You know, and the, and the bike comes with a center stand. That just kills me. You know, what cruiser comes with a center stand anymore? Just beautifully done. And I love forward controls, of course. Wow. Got to point this out because I'm so amazed at this. So I believe that the uh, 350 line of Royal Enfields have some of the best levers in the market. Now this is the same kind of a lever, but just slightly larger. And it's also adjustable. You can, by turning this knob here, you can adjust these in and out to change the distance here. So that is all the way out, I believe. And then we turn it this way, that's all the way in. So it's less distance right now. Very well done, very well done. Of course, this is the wonderful Oculus, as I call it. This one is actually larger than it is on the regular meter, the 350 meter, the 650 meter one is larger. And uh, it's got the analog gauge on the outside. It's got a digital fuel gauge on the inside, an always present gear indicator, always present clock, odometer, and then using this information button here, you can get it with a trip meter A and trip meter B. Very nice. Down here, you've got a battery light and an oil light. And that, those are two things you should always have, I think. On this side, it's got a trip meter, which is really neat. That's for uh, navigation with your phone. Uh, over here, the information button, the uh, pass to flash, flash to pass, low beam, high beam, blinkers, horn. Over here, it's the uh, kill switch, run switch, and then the start switch, this way. And then the hazard lights right there, of course, the fuel. And then they put these uh, trip machine wraps on the grip here, isn't that neat? And the brake is adjustable for uh, throw, too, by the way. I like it, I like it a lot. Just a good looking thing, isn't it? Just look at that, and I love the pipes. That's something I questioned about with pitchers. And uh, now that I see them in real life, I actually like them quite a bit. Let's see what that says. Trip machine. So these are trip machine bags. Gorgeous, gorgeous. 
I like this a lot. You know, I love the way they've done this. The blacked out here, blacked out here, the blacked out head. And they've got this kind of a chrome line all the way down, around and back. Very well done. Very well done. Hey, if y'all are interested in something like this, I never used Royal Enfield. Triumph, classic British bike of any type, need parts, accessories, gear, boots, gloves, anything at all, get yourself over to Baxter Cycle in the mighty metropolis of Marnie, or go to BaxterCycle.com. Now, it's a cold day, so I'm not going to go out and ride, but tomorrow we're going to take a heck of a ride. Life is good. Get yourselves out there and enjoy it. Wahoo!